Owning a pet in general for most families is a pride and joy. I don't own a pet right now, but I know when that time comes, it will be a Portuguese water dog. That is what this video is about. Hello and welcome back. Welcome if this is your first time. I'm Dez and today I'm sharing how I made a laser cut insert of a Portuguese water dog which I cut out using an X tool and using the X tool XCS software. I am not a fan of Lightburn. Oh, well, I should say I have not spent a lot of time using Lightburn, but Xtool has made a lot of improvement on their XCS software. And so that is what I used to do both the engraving and the cutout for the insert. So since I wanted this to be a circle, I went ahead and made my first circle jig, which is what I'm using to cut out the circle here. I intend to share a video of how I made this one at some point. Uh, it was pretty straightforward to make. I did run into an issue when I wanted to cut some other pieces but I think it's because of the blade I was using. So I intend to switch to a quarter inch blade instead of this half an inch blade that I'm using here. I think it's half an inch or yeah, it's half an inch. So I would switch to a quarter inch blade because actually I was trying to cut a smaller piece and I couldn't get the blade kept getting stuck. So I'm going to give it a try with the quarter inch blade and see how that goes. But this one went well, I cut just fine. Um, the blade does leave some marks on it, which we can just sand off. I didn't bother doing it for this one because I was going to stain it with a dark stain. Besides, it was something I was making for me. So it is fine. I like the texture that the blade leaves around there but it's, it's not necessarily visible because of the darker stain that I used at the end of it. So I'm in X tool now. I have just done the framing and then I'm sending the job for it to start engraving the three and a quarter inch plywood there. The settings that I used was 100% power at 50 millimeters per second. One of the main reasons why I started this channel was to share my experiences with woodworking, DIY in general, with tools and gadgets, the things that I love doing, in hopes that I can help somebody else out there, encourage someone who is thinking about doing something but lacks the confidence. I want to be there for you. I want to be that source of encouragement and I want to share inspiration with you whenever I get a chance to do that. So let's build a community around that on this channel. Subscribe if you've not already done so. And if you have, I appreciate you and God bless you. Continue watching the video. Now that the engraving was completed, it was time to cut the piece that will be inserted in there. I must say that I had to do three cuts before I got the right one. And the third one was where I made the, the curve adjustments. I did a negative curve, curve, I guess it's curve, K-E-R-F. I did a negative curve and I was able to get it to fit. So the first two that I, I did did not work. Uh, well, they did not fit. I would probably use them for some other project. The third time I did the cut was when I adjusted it. And that one 
defeated better. I think this was the this was the third time I was doing it where I took the image that I engraved and then I did an outline of it using the XTool. I did everything in the XTool XCS software, like I said. And then here is where I'm doing the negative curve, which kind of shrinks the um, object on the screen or the object that will be cut out. And then I think I used a negative 0 0.05 curve for this. Um, and then I cut it and that one just fit just perfectly in the engraved in the engraved portion of the three quarter inch plywood there that I used. I don't know if I mentioned that early on, it's just a three quarter, uh, qu three quarter inch plywood that I used to engrave it onto. And like I said, the third one fitted just perfectly there. Then I used a glossy rust oleum white paint and primer to add a few coats of paint, white paint onto the cutout piece, which will be inserted. And then I just used an old toothbrush with soft bristles to brush off some of the, the burnt pieces in the engraved portion that will allow the insert to sit flush in there. Since the insert will be white, I used a dark walnut stain to give it a good contrast. After giving it a few coats of the dark walnut stain, it was time to attach the insert or secure it in now with some wood glue. I'm using the Quick and Thick by Tight Bond. It dries clear and it dries pretty quickly. And then I just added some weight over it and left it to dry for about half an hour to about 45 minutes. I think it was about a half an hour and it was ready. I then added the hardware to hang it onto the wall. It can be just, you can put it on a mantle or a fireplace mantle you can just lean it against the wall but i wanted it to be hung on the wall and i i want it flush against the wall so i'm using the keyhole hanger there but i'm going to make sure it is it sits flush with the back there and so i'm using a one inch forcing a bit to drill the insert for the wall hanger and then I'll drill two smaller half inch holes using a half inch sorry a half inch forcing a bit which will serve as the goose for the nail or whatever uh, the wall hooks that I will use to hang it on the wall, we'll just slide through. If you've made it this far in the video, 
Thank you for watching. I don't know who this is for, but if you're listening, I want to remind you or make you aware that you have a lot of creativity in you because we are all created by the ultimate creator and he put a piece of himself in all of us. So I want to encourage you if you've been sitting on the fence thinking about starting to do something that is creative. I want to encourage you that you have what it takes. You just need to take a step of faith. You just need to get started. Start with something small. Imitate your creator. Create something. And as you keep doing it, you keep practicing, you will develop a confidence to the point where you start sharing with other people. Start with people you trust, who won't make fun of you, who will cheer you on. I am here to cheer you on, so go and make something today. And there you have it. It's all done. I'm doing a test hang on a brick wall. It looks very nice there with the dark walnut contrast. Here it is leaning against a wall. And then I have it next to some other wall decor just to see the contrast. I like it. I hope you do. If you do like it, let me know in the comments.